everybody and welcome back to another flip of my mixed media journal. I know it's been a really long time. Just always life gets in the way, doesn't it? But I'm going to get right to it. This was the last page um, I showed in the last video. So if you didn't see that, uh, you can go out and just look for my mixed media journal art flip. I forgot what I called it. I'll link it below. So this was the last page. I clipped these together. There's a couple of works in progress that I don't really want to show yet. Um, and then these are the next few pages are just some backgrounds that I painted and I have not done anything with them yet Most of these were doing other painting. I rubbed off whatever was left on the paintbrush and then there's a bunch of blank pages and then the rest of this is um, Something I did a couple of years ago. Some of them I finished some of them have not been finished and it's called journaling by fives if you've never done that um, there's tons of videos out there about how to do it. Um, it's from uh, Shannon Green is the one that came up with it. You can watch her video or there's tons of others. Basically what it is is it's just filling up your blank page. And I did this when I was first starting and I found it very helpful. Um, there's actually five stages. Each stage is 15 minutes long. And I won't go into all the details, but basically there's a painting stage, um, an image stage, stenciling, whatever, doodling. There's five different stages. And each one, you get 15 minutes to do it. And while the catch is, you're doing 20 pages in 15 minutes. So you're basically just slopping paint on, throwing images on, you know, doodling as best you can in 15 minutes in each section of 15 minutes. Anyway, I have to say that is probably the most fun that I have ever had um, journaling or arting or whatever you want to call it. My daughter-in-law daughter and I both did it. And we just, I mean, I, seriously, that's like the most fun I've ever had. So if you have not done this, you should try it. It's lots of fun. So anyway, here it is. Um, it, when I first went through, I was doing, I did all the ones on the right-hand page. So basically what I did is I went through and counted out 20 pages and then only did the ones on the right-hand page. Once I finished all of those, then you go back and do all the ones on the left-hand side of the page if you want. So the ones on the right-hand side of the page are mostly finished. The ones on the or are finished. The ones on the left-hand side of the page, I finished some and have not finished the others. So anyway, this is it. So basically, you can see you just slap paint on. You just stick an image on. So ahead of time, I just cut out a bunch of images, a bunch of words, and you're basically just scrambling around. And I think that's the whole point is you're just supposed to scramble and throw things on the page. Um, really, I should have come back and done some more doodling on this, but I never did. So anyway, you're just going to see them the way they are. Um, this is one of the left-hand pages that I finished, and I think probably this is my favorite one of all. Um, and I've actually made a copy of this and put it in my regular Fobonichi journal. And this one just, you know how people say, like, it just fell together and I really didn't plan anything. Well, that literally is what happened on this page. Um, I had the image, I had the painting down, and I had the image down, and I just, you know, she looked kind of sad and depressed, but I really wasn't sure what I was going to say. And then I had gotten this new uh, writing stamp, if you can see that, just like uh, some kind of cursive, whatever, and I just stamped it, and then I um, typed this out, put that on there, she could see the handwriting on the wall. And then the very last thing was this... Um, this found poem that I had been doing at the time, and it just went perfectly with this page right at that time. It says, she was always alone, the slump of her shoulders, heavy head, persistent sadness, lonely like faraway stars, still visible, but no longer really there. And I don't know, that just really spoke to me at the time. So anyway, I really love that one. This one is just, most of the rest are just pretty simple, you know, time pieces. It's about time. Um, this one just says, make big plans, live spontaneously. And this little bird is out on a limb. And this says, discover a fresh perspective. I used my little art circles. If you haven't done those, um, go out and find the video by Cat Hand and many others um, with her art circles. Those are so cute. Um, and so then I did a little bit of stenciling around it. And I'm not really a good doodler, so I don't do a whole lot of doodling. Um, this one came out of a, a little brochure that was for my city, and they were going to do some kind of a musical or something. It says, get your groove on. I love this little cute with the girl, and then I just found some words, play, fun, etc. Um, this one, she just looked like she was relaxing, so I put thoughtfully creating more time, space, and peace to energize your life. 
And you know, they're pretty simple. I did some stamping in the backgrounds. I just tried to find pictures that kind of went together, then tried to find a word to go with it. It's not a lot of thinking. It's mostly a lot of just throwing things on the page. I've changed my style a lot since this was August of 2015. Um, I probably wouldn't do them exactly the same way now, but who knows, when you're under pressure, it's like really crazy. Um, so anyway, that's what they are. I love this little cute girl painting or boy. I don't know, I'm really not sure what it is. This one, um, I did some stamping and then these right here are um, the wipes, like baby wipes that you clean off your brushes with or your stamps or, you know, whatever. And they just kind of had a little flowery look. So I cut them out in flower shapes and then drew stems for them and made them into flowers. This one, as you can see, I did not finish. This one, um, bright and bold, pretty self-explanatory. I haven't done that one yet, finished that one. This one, I like this. I'm not really a really Valentine-y, sentimental kind of person, but um, anyway, I liked it. Have, have not figured out what to do. That's what happens sometimes. You throw them on there and then you don't know what the heck you're gonna do with it. Um, this one, I used up some more love stuff I had already cut out and some little Tim Holtz words. Um, love this picture and then, um, I don't know. I don't know that that really goes with that, but anyway, I just threw it on there. And these, I love how this one came out. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with that one yet. Um, and I really love the idea of this lady with the balloon, holding the balloons going up in the air. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna say on that one yet. And hopefully one day I'll go back here and finish these. I've worked on them a little bit at a time. And then I love this one, Scattered Thoughts. And then I went through my Tim Holtz words and just, because I had a bunch of them, I had used some, but there were still so many left to be used and I couldn't find appropriate places for them. So I just put them all on here and those were my scattered thoughts. Um, this is all about getting a good night's sleep. Um, and this one, I just love this girl that um, she's like singing and playing and looks like she's having such a great time. Um, so no doodling on here either. As you can see more towards the back, I was running out of time, so then it was more just about paint, image, word, and that was pretty much all I got on it. Not sure what I'm gonna do with that one. I love this one. I had this lady with the crazy looking face anyway. I mean, she's got the craziest expression on her face. And then I found this big bow tie in something else and just put it on there and said, you do it with style. Um, a couple more. I'm not really sure. This was kind of cartoony. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Happy hour straight up with a twist. I like the way the rockers were there and then adding a the drink. Um, love this image that I put together. Not really sure what it's saying. That's my problem with art journaling. I never know what they're saying. I just put images down that I like. This one was kind of a crazy scribble scrabble. Just put that together. Um, it's collaging before I really, I'm um, sorry about all the glare. It's very rainy here today as it has been for a couple of weeks and so I have no light. So I had to put an extra lamp in here which is making a horrible glare, so sorry. Um, and then, you know, these I did bubble wrap. If you've ever done that, just dip bubble wrap in paint and then just splotch it on. Some of this was um, ink sprays. Um, and then here was my last page on the left hand side which it's all tropical stuff, but I never got around to finishing that either. So anyway, that's actually the end of my journal, although it's not all of the pages because I do have a bunch more blank pages in here to fill, but I wanted this journaling by fives at the end so I'd know where my 20 pages were up. So anyway, that's it on that. I hope you enjoyed that, and please check out the journaling by fives. I'll try to remember to go put the link in the description so you can find that easily. It is so much fun. Thanks so much for watching.